Okay guys, welcome to problem 5 and we are to find the wrong scan for exponential x, s, exponential x and x square, exponential x. Then we have to comment on the nature of these three solutions through the output of the wrong scan. So we are going to begin, but not so fast. I want to teach you something because you're going to be differentiating for this particular cases and you're seeing products right so product rule when you're evaluating um wrong scan especially when you're doing it repeatedly it becomes um very very like tedious makes your work too long and perhaps there's a tendency and increase increased chance of you making mistakes so i want to show you a simple method of getting um, around problems like this and we are going to be borrowing back some knowledges which you are going to understand from the past and maybe later to be helpful to you in the future and this is how it's going to be okay so um it's going to be um pascal's triangle just refresh our mind on pascal's triangle Okay, now for my knowledge of Pascal's triangle, I have my combinatorial coefficients like this, and I have um, one to one. Okay, and what do I have? One, three, three, one. Do you still remember? You have your one, your four, your six, your four, your one. Okay, and you have your one and one plus four, five. 4 plus 6 10 6 plus 4 10 5 and this is 1 and so on and so forth so this is for n equal to 0 basically n equal to 1 so you have n equal to 2 you have n equal to 3 n equal to 4 n equal to 5 is that okay so these are our combinatorial coefficients now what am i going to use these combinatorial coefficients to do so it has um, come to my mind okay or it has actually um cut across the minds of mathematicians that whenever they are carrying out um differentiations for instance the kind of experience Pascal's triangle, this combinatorial coefficients. We are carrying out um, differentiations of products. Okay, that's multiple differentiations of products. These um, combinatorial coefficients actually play out still. So what do I mean? For instance, if you are to expand um, a plus b, let me say raised to the power of um, a, a plus b raised to the power of two, you're going to get something like a square plus two ab plus b square is that okay so and of course for n equal to 2 the combinatorial coefficients are 1 2 1 okay 1 2 1 so the first term observe what happens the first term has the power of 2 then the second term apart from the combinatorial coefficients the power of a has reduced and the power of b has increased by 1 all in all the sum of um powers in each term is still 2. Then the third term has a power of what? 2. In this case, a is 0 and what? b is 2. So there is a gradual decrease in the power of a, okay, and there is a gradual increase in the power of b. So same thing with a plus b raised to the power of 4. So you have, we we'll start with a raised to the power of 4. Then the combinatorial coefficient is 4, okay, then a reduces by 1 b increases by one so three plus one is still four and the combinatorial coefficient is six is that okay so a increase reduces again and b increases okay the next combinatorial coefficient is four then a reduces b increases by three and finally we have what b raised to the power of four so this particular stuff is binomial expansion using what pascal's triangle and please take notes differentiation also follows the same pattern so as only you want to differentiate with respect to um some certain variable or let me just use um let me say the x you want to differentiate uh let me write it well you want to differentiate a product d 
of u v okay d of u v with respect to x for instance i just wanted to find d of u v with respect to x so the first derivative of course from product rule it will be what u prime v okay then plus v prime u do you understand so u prime v plus v prime u so this is the first derivative u prime v plus v prime u so this actually corresponds to this particular case when we are actually considering the first derivative now i want to consider the second derivative okay d okay two u v with respect to the x squared we want to differentiate it two times this product two times so when you're differentiating this product two times you will now notice that what if we follow pascal's triangle okay i'll start by differentiating u two times so i'll get my u two times i'll differentiate u two times then i'll not differentiate v okay we'll differentiate u two times we'll not differentiate v then we'll now do plus the pascal square efficient there is two for the next term so two in the next term the differential of u will now reduce then the differential of v will now increase is that okay then in the last term u will remain as it is don't differentiate it then v will be differentiated two times so if we do for three okay the three u v then the x three something like this so let's form it together you discover that you have your u prime 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 v is that okay then the combinatorial coefficient when n is equal to 3 the first is 3 you have 3 then you have u prime prime then v okay u prime prime v okay v prime sorry u prime prime v prime so this v is like v0 but you know call this v01 it's like the zeroth derivative that's why we leave it here like this and we have another combinatorial coefficient which is still 3 then u reduces to the first derivative y v increases to the second derivative and finally the last term u is on its zero derivative and v is on its third derivative so you can see that the derivative of v is increasing in each term and the derivative of u is decreasing in each term and we are using the combinatorial coefficients from pascal's triangle to what match our results so this is the outcome for differentiating um, 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 um products so um all these formulas were actually summarized by Leibniz and Maclaurin. You're going to learn this in probably 300 level. When you want to find the nth derivative of the products of two functions, u and v, okay, you can actually summarize it by using this formula summation um, r equal to 0, then up to n. Then you have um, u, okay, your combinatorial coefficient, which is n combination r, and u the nth derivative of u okay you have to do u minus r then you have vr so the rth derivative of vr and when we say v raised to the power of zero is not one in this case so v raised to the power of zero means the zeroth derivative of v or actually the base form of the function v without differentiating it so this is our leibniz maclaurin formula Okay. Okay. Um, power series expansion or hence derivative. So, other than pay attention to this particular formula more than paying attention to this particular formula just pay attention to how we built the formula the properties and um, the um, power of derivative of one function is reducing and at the same time another one is increasing and for each particular terms when you add the orders of differentiation it should correspond to the um, number of times you're actually differentiating so what we want to do now is we want to um, use what we've learned from this particular method of differentiation to attack this problem over here okay i'm sure i spent quite some time 
explaining it but you see the application now in this problem five so to solve problem five our solution we have what the wrong scan of exponential x x exponential x then x squared exponential x okay so flow with me together we're going to be very careful and we are forming what and what by what matrix the three by three matrix so on the first row we have exponential x so i'm going to space it very well i have x um x exponential x and i have um x squared exponential x so you see how i spaced it very well okay now when i differentiate on the second row differentiating exponential x you get exponential root x when you differentiate x exponential x of course one term stays you differentiate the other so um i'll differentiate x first it will give me one then i'll have exponential x so i have one dot exponential x then plus then i'll now keep x and differentiate exponential x so keeping x you have x and differentiate exponential x you have exponential x so coming over to this one the first derivative will differentiate what x squared giving you 2x first is that okay then you keep exponential x then you now keep x squared and you differentiate what exponential x it gives you exponential x is that okay so this is for the second the second um row then for the third row you're going to repeat the process of differentiation again so to repeat the process of differentiation we will have to differentiate exponential x giving me exponential x so when i want to differentiate this particular one again it will make me to want to apply product rule here and product rule you understand product rule on this particular thing again i'll still apply under product rule here and product rule here but why don't i use my concept of nth derivative that i've learned of introduced to us in this particular place so we're going to use that concept now so follow me so you want to differentiate this particular one two times okay so two times right so remember when you're differentiating it two times okay you're going to assume i want to differentiate by dx i want to differentiate u v two times the two u the x square remember it to be what u okay u um u prime prime that's the second derivative then v then the combinatorial coefficient is two then u prime v prime then we now have what the last combinatorial coefficient which is one and my u is on the base form why v is what differentiated two times so that is exactly what we we'll use to find this particular term here instead of expanding this and expanding this so applying it to this particular case i'm differentiating my u which is x and my v is exponential x so my u i'll differentiate it two times differentiate the first time you get one differentiate the second time you get zero so zero dot exponential x okay that is what this term over here then plus i'll put my two then my u prime which in this case is going to be x prime when we differentiate x we'll get one okay then when we differentiate exponential x we'll get exponential x so i have two times one times exponential x then plus finally i'll now have my u my u is x then i'll now differentiate exponential x two times if you differentiate exponential x the first time you get exponential x if you differentiate the second time you still get exponential x so this is the second derivative of this one so this is the first derivative of this term over here and this is the second derivative of this term summarized over here so we want to apply it to get this one together so follow me follow me follow me now to apply it to this term this is your u x squared is your u and your v is exponential x so when you differentiate x squared two times according to the formula if you differentiate it the first time you get 
2x. If you differentiate the second time, you now get 2. Okay, so this is my u prime prime, and my v remains exponential x. Then plus 2 from the Pascal's um, combinatorial coefficient. So my u prime is 2x. Okay, 2x. So that's when you differentiate this one once to give it 2x. Then your v prime is exponential x prime, which is 2 exponential x. Then finally plus. Um, let me clean this guy to make it wider. Plus. Okay. Plus. Then you now want to differentiate um, the last term. So the last term we are keeping our u, which is x squared. And we are now going to differentiate exponential x two times, giving me what? Exponential x still. Okay. So this is how we get the terms for this derivative. So you will now discover that our wrong scan will now be equal to a half exponential x then x exponential x then x squared exponential x so we have exponential x and we have 1 times exponential x is exponential x plus x exponential x so in this place we'll have exponential x 2x exponential x plus x squared exponential what x is that okay 2x exponential x plus x squared exponential x so coming over to the third row we have exponential x and we now have what in the third row we have this first term is zero zero times exponential x is zero so i just have 2 exponential x plus x exponential x then for this particular term over here if you resolve it you get 2 exponential x plus 4x exponential x plus x squared exponential x like this is that okay all right together so we are now going to what factor out the things that are common okay i'm going to factor out the things that are common so in factoring out let's do it carefully on the first column you have what exponential x to be common so exponential x is common in the first column so let me give space like this so you have one 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 for exponential x being common on the first column now on the second column you can see that exponential x is also common okay if you look at these equations very critically exponential x is common in every term so you factor it out so exponential x factoring it out i'll have first of all x then factoring it out here i'll get one plus x then factoring it out from this one i'll get two plus x here is that okay two plus x is that okay then finally finally on the third <coughs> on the third um on the third um column over here so what is common to make things simpler for us okay you can see that the thing that is most common in this particular case okay what is most common is exponential x still exponential x okay exponential x is what is common so we are going to factor it out again so exponential x is common so factoring it out will be left with x squared then this will give me 2x plus x squared then finally i'll now have what 2 plus 4x plus x squared like this okay so this is what i have to deal with okay so let's begin the expansion for this determinant so do you know what i'm going to advise my take on you evaluating the determinant when you're expanding the determinant expand from the one that seems like the longest expand from the terms or from the column that have the longest stems now this particular third column over here have the longest stems i'm going to expand my determinant along this third column along this third column this way so i have exponential 3x from law of indices so expanding from the third column okay this is what i'm going to have from the third column 
I'll start with um, this term over here. Of course, you know it's a plus, minus, plus. So whether you start from down or whether you read from up, it doesn't matter. So expanding from down, I'll have what? 2x um, plus 4x plus x squared, like this. Then this one takes into this particular matrix. So the minor of this particular element is actually this over here. So you have 1. You have 1x, one, 1, 1 plus x, is that okay? Then minus this element over here, so we have 2x plus x squared in brackets. Then the minus of that element is actually going to be 1x and 1 and half 2 plus x, like this. And finally we now have plus x squared. Okay, let's x squared. And the minus of x squared, of course, we have 1. 1 plus x. And have 1. 2 plus x. Like this. Okay, so we are going to resolve. We have exponential 3x into, we have 2 plus 4x plus x squared like this and if you open this particular one you're going to have this times this is um, 1 plus x then minus x right then minus you have 2x plus x squared into this times this is actually 2 plus x then minus x okay and plus x squared into this times this is still 2 plus x and this times this is minus 1 minus x 1 plus x sorry so let's expand carefully we have exponential 3x into 2 plus 4x plus x squared like this so 1 plus x minus x is 1 plus 0 and which is 1 so this term times 1 is still this term so minus 2x plus x squared into so this and this gives you 0 so we are just left with 2 and finally plus x squared into you have 2 minus 1 is what? 1 then x minus x is 0 so you are just left with 1 here Okay. okay from this point we have exponential 3x into when you solve you get 2 plus 4x plus x squared minus 2 times 2x is uh, minus 4x and 2 times x squared negative x negative 2x squared rather and I have plus x squared all right so we have um exponential 3x into so you have 2 4x cancels out 4x so this and this together gives me plus 2x squared minus 2x squared so these two terms cancels out and we now have um exponential 3x all into 2 so finally our wrong scan of exponential x x exponential x and x square exponential x is going to be what 2 exponential 3x so this is the wrong scan and it is not equal to zero so since the wrong scan is not equal to zero the implication is that exponential x x exponential x and x squared exponential x are linearly independent So thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe i know this one was long but um if you follow the procedures and try to reproduce it on your own you should be able to you know get back in touch and get back in terms with what we did so um stay tuned for more um examples on wrong scan and linear dependence linear independence i hope to see you in the next video take good care of you